I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So if you did not catch the vlog that I did let it be known in there that I am moving and that I pretty much want to uh, decorate my apartment from scratch. I'm not keeping most of what I have right now and I explained in there like what's going to happen with the stuff that I have now before anyone's like don't throw it all away. Um, but when I say Amazon, Target, Walmart have been my best friends in the last few weeks, especially, um, I was about to say, um, I saw on TikTok and when I tell you TikTok is probably the worst thing that could have happened to me in this process because you know how the algorithm works, once you show interest in something it's just going to continue showing that type of content. So home decor has literally been beaten into my brain for the last two months. Every other video, apartment tour, this is what I got off Amazon. So I saw a TikTok on there that was like, when it comes to furniture, like couches, stuff like that, a lot of companies like wholesale it. So um, you can see it on Wayfair for like $1,500. They said the key is to go to sites like Walmart and stuff like that because they get it from the same wholesaler and they sell it for, you know, a cheap price, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure why I didn't think of that, but I uh, went to Walmart and literally couches that I was seeing on even Amazon for $800 were on Walmart for three four hundred dollars so i tested it out i will definitely keep you updated on that but amazon baby it's like every five seconds i'm screenshotting something that oh get this from amazon and you know i have prime shipping it'll get here in two days every five seconds i'm screenshotting then i go read the reviews and the reviews are like this is even better so in today's video i want to do a quick little this is what is in my amazon cart um honestly some of it i've already purchased so no you can't talk me out of it but some of it I am still debating on, I mean, you probably won't talk me out of getting it, but if you guys want to see the stuff that I am getting for my place, let's go. Okay, let's just get probably the most offensive one out of the way at this point. Um, it is from Anovia. It is their countertop touchless paper towel dispenser in gray. Do I need a paper, a paper towel dispenser? Probably not. Do I want one? Yeah, it just sounds very convenient. You know, you don't have to touch it to rip off any paper. Like little things like that annoy me when you try to rip it and then the whole uh, roll might move or it rips in a weird way, anything like that. I just feel like just how, you know, um, when you use public bathrooms and stuff like that and it just automatically comes out, you rip it, you go about your business. I feel like you could have that in your place and it would be really good for that. The only thing is, it's $119. I see it as an investment. Like you buy it once, I'm assuming it's like battery operated or anything like that. Just keep buying batteries. So it's a, it's a, it's a one time $119 purchase. And I, I feel like I've spent that on things that were more irrelevant, right? You know how many seafood boils I don't purchase before? Um, so I feel like, you know, the one time if I were to purchase it, it might sting a little bit, but then I'll have my automatic dispenser and life will be good, right? I just feel like I need it. Okay, the next thing um, that I have in here is this O-Setter Easy Ring Microfiber Spin Mop and Bucket Floor Cleaning System. So I have a Swiffer, and I don't know if you guys have seen, but Jackie's been talking about the Swiffer. I guess they have like a new jet mop type thing. And I was considering getting that, but I went on Amazon, and I think I might have seen another TikTok or two about it as well. And the reviews actually aren't that great. Like a lot of people were saying, if you already have the Swiffer, don't bother going going ahead and upgrading to this one um so I just feel like you know I already have a Swiffer and obviously I'm looking at at the mop bucket because I want something else so it's like should I go ahead and get the the upgraded jet version or should I go ahead and get this bucket I don't know I kind of like the idea of this I don't know I just feel like it, it feels a little more like this way of mopping seems like it's more effective I guess is the best way to say it. But I'm gonna get one of them. You're gonna have to wash the box <laughs> to see which one it is, but I'm gonna get one of them. I just don't know which one. Okay, so the couch that I bought is white, white, off-white. I don't know, but we're gonna find out what, what cause okay. I was about to say, we're gonna find out when I open the box. So before you think you bought a couch without even knowing the color of it, I know what color it says it is, but you know, sometimes when you're buying things online, I just told you how I bought it. Um, the color in real life might be slightly off stuff like that but it is a light couch right if you guys know now my couch is gray 
Um, so I didn't really have to worry about that, but in my mind, you know, I'm thinking, you know, white, light-ish couch. Um, you know, I wanted to safeguard it. So everyone's been talking about Scotchgard. Uh, it's the Scotchgard fabric water shield, repels water, ideal for couches, pillows, furniture, shoes, and more. Um, you know, it's got 29,000 reviews on it. Oh, I didn't think I told you how much the mop was. I think it was like 45 or $49. Um, but the Scotchgard is $13 and I was really sold on it, right? Until I started reading the reviews and I saw, I saw on TikTok and stuff as well, people uh, warning that I guess it's a toxic cleaner. Um, you're not supposed to like smell the, the, the toxins in it, stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. It's a really strong, um, it's a bad smell and that it's not good for you health wise. Uh, it can cause cancer, all that stuff. And then, you know, I saw other comments saying, well, everything causes cancer. So, you know, are people not supposed to do anything? Um, so I did look into alternatives for that. But if you've used that, or if you have any knowledge on that, because I saw people also saying that, you know, they recalled it and they took out whatever toxins were in it. I have seen different versions. So if you've used it, if you know anything about it, if you know that, you know, one does have toxins in it and another version of it does not, let me know in the comments down below because I'm trying to hit like check out today. So let me know. But I do want to um, guard the couch somehow. So I will most likely end up changing out my shower head just for that more rainfall type thing. Uh, the one that I have now, it has the little um, clicker thing on it to change the different pressures and stuff like that. It's just, it's a hassle. So I don't really want to have to deal with that. So I'm looking at this Gurren shower head, high pressure rain, luxury bathroom shower head with Chrome plated finish, adjustable angles, anti-clogging, silicone nozzles. This retails for only 20 dual hairs. Um, I was also thinking of the square ones, but it, it depends on the bathroom. Some bathrooms I see them in, they're very cute, very pretty. Some I just, mm. because the vibe of it gives, you know, a shower that I'm stepping into when I'm on vacation, really scenic type things. And then, you know, I'll be seeing it in a bathroom that looks like, a studio one bedroom in a park in New York City like it's not giving in there so I'm thinking about this one I did want to wait until I actually move in just to get a better vibes after seeing the other things that I placed in the bathroom but it's in the Amazon cart so we'll most like I feel like I'm going to change the shower head regardless but we'll see if it's this one so I have this fear learn Toilet paper holder stand for bathroom floor, standing toilet roll dispenser storage is for reserve rolls with top storage shelf for cell phones, wipe, wallets, and more. Um, this retails for 31 doll hairs. Yes. Um, honestly, I want it for the stand part. I am the person that goes to the bathroom with their phone. I feel like everyone goes to the bathroom with their phone. You probably shouldn't. But yeah, I would go in the bathroom with my phone. Um, I pretty much want it for that. You know, the being able to store the extra rolls there is cute. I'm not sure if I would do that. It makes it convenient, you know, just in case you run out and it's right there under it. But I don't know, something about just having all the toilet paper out. I just, mm. um, but I want it for the stand part. Yes, I did just say like, you probably shouldn't go in there with your phone. So I probably shouldn't buy something that would encourage me to go in there with my phone. But you also heard what they said, you know, it's also for cell phones, for wipes, for wallets. If you, for some reason, need anything else placed next to you while you're on the toilet, you have the option to. And guests, you know, maybe I don't want to go with my phone, but guests might want to go with their phones. So I just feel like, you know, I need it. Okay, so things that I did buy, this is the Fuyin rug pad grippers four piece non-slip rug gripper for hardwood floors um the rug in my bedroom currently i don't have any issues with it moving or anything like that the bed is on top of it but even the corners that stick out i don't have any issues with them you know like peeling up stuff like that um so i don't i don't imagine i'll have that issue with the one that i just bought as well but i'm keeping the rug that's in my living room and that one you sneeze and the thing is balled up in a corner. Like, so I bought the grippers to put under the rug so that it does not move. 
So I will let you guys know how that goes. One thing about me, I like me a pillow, okay? I There could be anywhere from six to 10 pillows on my bed, on the on the couch, anything like that. But we're talking specifically my bed and like the pillows I actually sleep on, not the decorative ones that you take off at night. Um, so I'm real like picky about pillows. And last year I was looking into, you know, better pillows and everyone swears that there's this, I think it's Beckham Hotel, I think is what they're called. Beckham Hotel pillows that everyone raves about on Amazon. I think it has like over a hundred thousand reviews, stuff like that. So I bought it last year, right? I think it was like 60 something dollars for two. You know, it was cute. It was cute. Um, but you see how here I am a couple months later looking for pillows and I didn't, I, I wasn't convinced enough for me to just go like, okay, let me go ahead and just like reorder these, right? So I, after, you know, doing some research, doing some looking, all that stuff and crossing my fingers. I got the High Moon Shredded Memory Foam Pillows, medium firm, queen size pillows, two pack, couples bed pillows for side back sleepers, set of two. There's 21,000 reviews on it. Um, and it retails for 35 dual hairs. It, I, I'm gonna definitely have to let y'all know how it goes with this one, but I have high hopes for this. I feel like it's going to it's gonna work out well. So I got two sets of two. So there's four pillows for me. So there'll be at least four on this bed. We'll figure it out. I think I just talked myself out of getting this while sitting here, but we'll see by the time I finish talking about it. It is this soap holder dish shower, two piece bar soap holder self drain. They really just put everything in that so it shows up in the description, but y'all see it. Basically it's a soap dish uh for your shower that will connect to the shower and at first i liked it because you see how it's a little like a cabinet type thing for the soap so that it'll close up so that water is not raining down on it while you shower i liked it for that reason then i i mean it does say that it will um it'll uh get rid of the water itself if you let it down like it'll drain out the water itself but then i thought about it and i was like now if you close it up and the soap is still wet. I don't know, it's just giving me musty. So I'm like, I don't know if I still want that. I don't I don't think I want it. There's 1,400 reviews. It looks like someone's it came broken. Oh, and this retails for $11.59. Let me know if I need this. I feel like y'all gonna say no. But let me know if you have it for one and if I need it. Again, this is something that I found on TikTok. Do I need it? Probably not. I'm not an alarm clock type of girly. Uh, nightstands, even the lamps that are on the nightstands right now don't have actual light bulbs in them. <laughs> it's just there for decoration. Um, but I saw this CC Glow table lamp, Bluetooth speaker, touch control bedside lamp, and portable Bluetooth speaker with wireless charger, adjustable phone holder for birthdays, holidays, retails for 62 dual hairs. Um, and I liked it because you can put your phone on it and it'll charge your phone. But also the TikTok that I saw, it says that it plays, um, you know, like rainfall noise at night or whatever noise you want it to play throughout the night. So that's why I was intrigued with it. Sometimes I like doing that. Sometimes I just, I'll be ready to get in bed and go to sleep. But like, am I going to use it enough to go ahead and get this? And also, I don't know if this will go with the decor in my bedroom. So I'm like, mm. and it only comes, yeah, it looks like it only comes in that color. But I don't know, I also feel like I just, we're losing recipes, okay? We don't have that, you know, long black clock anymore with the big red numbers. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, you gotta dust it off because no one actually used it, but it was there, okay? We're, we're not going to have these things as we get older. And I just feel like as an adult, I need an alarm clock <laughs> on my nightstand. So I was thinking about that. But I also see the little digital ones. Um, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. I'll have a picture pop up. I was thinking about that as well, but I also feel like we're getting to a point where, boo boo, I think you want something just to say that you bought something, which, you know, is a little true for me. I'll just be buying stuff. But I feel like I, I would get use out of this, you know, just place my phone on it, it charges. But I also don't usually like things like that because I like holding my phone in my hand while it charges, which that might be something else we need to talk about. Um. Yeah, go ahead, let me know if I need that. I bought new plugins. Well, not new plugins, but I um, uh, 
stocked up on plugins. Could not think there. I use the Febreze plugin. So this is the, what scent is this? What scent is this? It says 150 days of freshness. I don't know if that's that accurate, but um, I got, I use the fresh scent in this and it comes, I get the three refills because I put it in three different um, places, bedroom, living room, bathroom. I'm not sure if I'll have to get another one for this one or if I can just like space out where I put them, but absolutely love this scent. Your place just smells like, you know, clean when you walk in. Sometimes I want to spice it up like, oh, maybe I want to get like pumpkin spice latte. And then I'm like, really think about it. Like every time you come into your, your place, it smells like pumpkin spice latte. Like, and the last thing, like I'm really trying to debate between this and like the, you know, what is it? Our place or, you know, those like fancier uh, cookware sets that you see on social media. But this is on Amazon. It's got 10,000 reviews and it's only 79 doll hairs. It is this... Karoti pots and pans set nonstick white granite induction uh, kitchen cookware set 11 piece non okay it's just me saying the same thing over and over again I feel like you know it's got the things I need I showed oh well I showed on TikTok um I found a dish set at Ross Ross is another one oh well, actually hold on um and I like the color of it they have a granite option as well if you've used it if you bought this if you if you've used it as cookware let me know how you like it um but also just like let me know if you think i should go with this or if you've used the other ones like uh our place i can't remember the other one i think it starts with a c or something like that but i've seen all over the place and you like those better let me know go, go ahead and just get those but i got my eye on them. so what i was going to say is that uh because of tiktok i saw that there are these armchairs that are i think it's a hundred dollars each either it's a hundred dollars each or it's a hundred dollars for two at Ross, I've been to three Rosses. Cannot find it. I don't know what type of Rosses y'all are going to, but the ones that I go to get very deserted when it comes to any type of furniture or stuff like that. Um, they do really have they do have really nice uh, dish sets, cups, glasses, stuff like that. But the furniture is not giving when I go there. And yeah, y'all, that is just some of the stuff that is in my Amazon carts that I've either checked out on or I'm debating about. Let me know your thoughts. I know a lot of it, you know, I probably don't need, but I want it, so there we are. But let me know all that in the comments down below. Make sure two thumbs up, kind of subscribe to notification bells down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.